Hello, my YouTube fans. How are you? I am here today because I wanted to share a little bit with you about the final past tense with ED. So often when people say the past tense, whether they say the word worked or disgust or longed or landed, they don't necessarily know how to pronounce the ending because there's three ways to do it. So let's have a quick look at this. Okay, you should see the screen here. And let me get my pointer. The final ED. So there's three different ways. One way to pronounce the final ED is like a T sound. The other is like a D sound. And the third way is where we actually get an extra syllable, right? So we have the T, the D, and the ED. So let's read this. If the final sound in the present tense verb is voiceless, if the final sound in the verb is voiceless, we're gonna talk about that, then the ED is pronounced like a T sound. So what does voiceless mean? Well, if we look at this sound, k, 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 it's a k, k, k. It's not a g, g, g. G, g. It's not, there's no, there's no vocalization. It's called a voiceless sound. K. Okay, so when we have a verb that ends in a voiceless sound, like the k sound, we just match that with the t sound, which is also voiceless. T, t, t. The t, t is not a d, d, right? It's a t. So we say walk walked one syllable we're not adding another syllable now if the final sound in the present tense verb is voiced like arrange g, g, that g sound is a voiced sound we use the vocal cords we need to match that with the d sound because d, d is also voiced so we say arrange and then arranged and we just close it with that D. And then if the final sound in the present tense verb is a T or a D, that is when we add the syllable like here, round, rounded. There's an extra syllable. It's very important because you can't, you can't, for example, take the T or the D and say it twice. We can't say rounds, rounds, right? We can't match that D with the D. We need to add a vowel sound, that schwa sound, rounded. So let's look at a couple more of these. Answer, er, er, voiced. Answered, we get the D sound. We get this, the D, answered. Arrive, we have a voice here, arrived. We get a D sound. Book, K. there's that K sound. We're gonna add a T, aren't we? Booked. Here's another call, L, that L sound, called we add the voiced D sound. Here's one more, check, k, k. Voiceless, what do we have to attach it to? T, checked. And then here's an example where we add a syllable, decided, right? Decided, we add the syllable because we can't say the D two times. Now. What I, will what I will say is why don't you take a screenshot, okay? Why don't you take a screenshot on the left-hand side and then you can work with my worksheet. Go ahead, take a screenshot and go ahead and work with that. If you wanna take a screenshot on the left, you can also practice reading the words in paragraph form. But remember, you need to know if the past tense if the verb in the present tense ends in a voiced or a voiceless sound, so that you know if you're gonna add the t or the d, 
And then if the verb ends in a T or a D, you're gonna add that extra syllable. So be careful, learn your rule, practice, record yourself, read out loud, and you're gonna get this. All right, I'll see you around, bye-bye.